friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Jilted Bride inspires all after getting left at the altar, but making the most out of a terrible situation. Written by Mel Johnson, read by Julie Provost. After getting left at the altar by her groom, no one would have blamed 27-year-old Kaylee Steed if she called off the whole day. However, not only did this brave young lady make the most of a terrible situation, but the Jilted Bride also showed incredible grace to her ex. Life threw Kaylee Steed of the UK a pretty major curveball on the day of her wedding. She arrived at the venue brimming with excitement, and she fully expected to end the day wed to the man she had loved for several years. However, on that day meant to be one of the happiest of her life, things took a heartbreaking turn when Kaylee's groom failed to show. She ended up getting left at the altar. Kaylee spent the night before the wedding with her bridesmaids. Her fiancé did the same with his groomsmen. And as Kaylee arrived bright and early the next day for wedding prep, she had no reason to suspect anything amiss. The groom and I had already agreed not to speak the night before the wedding anyway, she explained, so I didn't know what was happening on his end. I didn't have a clue. I was in complete bliss, unknown bliss. At some point in the night, Kaylee's fiancé left for a drive and never returned. Even though others, including his parents, realized the groom wouldn't be showing up for the wedding, Kaylee remained hopeful. For a couple of hours, I was saying he was going to be there, and I was reassuring the girls. I honestly believed, hand on heart, that he was going to be there, she recalled. But a distraught call from the groom's family finally convinced her of the truth. At that point, I was gone, she said. I was sobbing. What Kaylee Steed did next is truly inspiring. While the wedding clearly wasn't going to happen, she decided to carry on with her special day. Despite getting left at the altar, she asked all the guests to stay for the reception. I'm going to do it, she decided. I spent all this money, I've been looking forward to the food, a dance with my dad, spending time with my family, so why not? Kaylee's friends, family, and even her fiancé's groomsmen all stayed. Instead of entering the reception as a new bride, Kaylee walked in surrounded by her bridesmaids. Rather than her first dance with the groom, Kaylee danced with her father and brothers to Dolly Parton's Love You to the Moon and Back. The groomsmen ended up joining in the dance as well. The groomsmen joined in because I wanted to thank them for staying, she said. They didn't run away, and I would have totally understood if they did. They stood by me the whole day. Despite the heartbreak of getting left at the altar, Kaylee Steed had a wonderful time. She made the most of a terrible situation, and the love and support from all the guests turned into a beautiful night. It was a very awkward situation for them to be in, but they all stayed, Kaylee said. I wanted to make sure everyone knew that it wasn't about the sad. We were going to power through this. Everybody kept saying sorry to me, but I wanted that to stop. They hadn't chosen that path. They chosen to stay, so let's celebrate that. Kaylee never did hear from her ex again after getting left at the altar in 2022. No apology or explanation certainly must have added to the heartache. As much as he was my partner, he was also my best friend, she said. And I just wish he'd have come to me, even as a friend, to let me know he was struggling. Yet, even though his actions devastated Kaylee, she had never retaliated or spoken ill of her ex. I don't believe in fighting fire with fire, she explained. I'd rather just deal with the situation as best I can and hold my head high. Instead, she responded with grace and compassion, extending forgiveness. I don't resent him for what he did, either, Kaylee said. Looking back on what happened, I came home to a house with all his stuff in it. It showed he acted on impulse, so he must have really been struggling with something. It must be hard for him right now because he's going through a breakup just as much as I am. Kaylee State's compassionate response is especially powerful considering all that she's been through since getting left at the altar. Just four months later, she lost her mother, T. Davies. Choosing to forward ahead on the day of her wedding took courage and strength. Kaylee refused to let what happened to her steal the joy of that day. And had Kaylee called off the reception, she'd have missed out on making some memories she now cherishes. I was always proud of what I achieved from carrying on with the party when I got left. But since my mother's passing, it has made it even more special, she said. My ma'am got to be by my side the whole way through. She was my biggest cheerleader and will forever be my best friend. Being left at the altar will always hurt. But Kaylee truly made the most out of a terrible situation. There were so many special moments, like my wedding entrance, the sparkler walk, the first dance, and punching the wedding cake, she said. There was still happiness in the day. By refusing to let heartache define the day, Kaylee Steed inspired so many people. Loads of people have been reaching out to me saying my story resonated because they were going through the same thing. She said the time since her wedding day, a lot of it has been incredible. It's not just Kaylee's reaction on her wedding day that's inspiring. 
It's also the way she forged ahead with the life following such a traumatic and disheartening event. Rather than wallow in the heartache, she spent the time healing and working on herself. I'm taking free therapy sessions from work, she explained. I'm journaling. I'm saying yes to everything, including a trip to New York with my best friend. And after spending more than a year bettering herself, Kaylee Seed is finally ready to give dating another chance. Now I'm feeling even better and enjoying life a lot better. She said, a year ago, the idea of dating completely scared me, but now I'm excited for it. She's ready to put the past behind her and continue moving forward. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but I'm more excited about seeing what else is out there and getting to know other people as well. I'm ready to invest my time in that, Kaylee says. What an incredible example of perseverance in the face of adversity. Our lives are always going to include difficult times, but it is in these moments where good can often shine the brightest. Bad things are bound to happen, but what Satan meant for harm, God can use for good. If we allow, he can grow us and strengthen us through these trials, just like Kaylee's kid did after getting left at the altar. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it to pass, as it is this day to save many people alive. Genesis 50, 20. Jeff Bridges finds his riches and family, and he just loves spending time with his grandchildren. Written by Heather Riggleman, read by Julie Provost. For actor Jeff Bridges, family is far more valuable than money or fame. And this dude pa just loves spending time with his grandchildren. The iconic actor renowned for his illustrious career spending over 60 films doesn't find his greatest joy in the limelight of Hollywood. Instead, Jeff Bridges finds it in his cherished moments with his beloved family. With three daughters and now grandchildren, Jeff says he revels in the role of Dude Pa and Duty. These are the nicknames his grandkids affectionately call him. This is a playful nod to his iconic character from The Big Lebowski. Despite his battle with illness and recent recovery, Jeff Bridges embraces the blessings of family life with ultimate gratitude, cherishing each precious moment spent with his loved ones. Time goes so fast, and it's so precious. To spend it with the people you love, there's nothing richer than that, he said. For Jeff, the journey of fatherhood has been a profound one. It is marked by unwavering love and devotion to his daughters, Isabel, Jessica, and Haley. From attending red carpet events together to supporting their individual dreams, Jeff keeps his wife and his daughters as the cornerstone of his life. As his daughters have grown into adulthood and embarked on their own path, Jeff takes pride in their accomplishments and treasures the closeness they share. He was delighted and honored to help his daughter write a children's book titled Daddy Daughter Day. Now, as a doting grandfather to Grace and Ben, Jeff Bridges delights in sharing his passion for music, books, braiding hair, and dancing in the kitchen with his grandkids. His Instagram is filled with family moments of sitting on the couch, reading stories to his grandkids, and taking nature walks in the great outdoors. Despite his health challenges, Jeff Bridges' spirits remain buoyant. As he revels in the simple joys of being surrounded by family, his grandchildren's endearing nicknames for him bring laughter and warmth to their interactions. It serves as a testament to the joyous bond they share. Jeff's life has been one of resilience and gratitude. In the last few years, he revealed how he relied on God's strength to overcome health scares with determination and a steadfast spirit. From battling lymphoma to facing the challenges of COVID-19, Jeff's unwavering optimism in the love of his family has been his guiding light. I had no defenses. That's what chemo does. It strips you of your immune system. I had nothing to fight it. COVID made my cancer look like nothing, he said. Jeff savors the beauty of life's simple pleasures, and he finds solace in the love and the support of his wife, Susan. She stood by his side through it all, Together they embrace each day with a renewed sense of appreciation. They know life's greatest treasures lie in the cherished moments spent with loved ones. In the face of adversity, Jeff's journey serves as an inspiration. It reminds us of the resilience of the human spirit and the power of love to conquer all. As he continues to share his wisdom, humor, and love with his growing family, Jeff Bridges exemplifies the true essence of a devoted husband, father, and grandfather. With his infectious laughter and boundless affection, Jeff's legacy of love will endure for generations to come. It's a shining testament to the enduring power of family bonds, and it reflects the blessings of a life lived with gratitude and joy. For Jeff Bridges, being a grandfather transcends the joys of fatherhood, embracing a depth of love and fulfillment that knows no bounds. 
As Dude Pa or a duty to his cherished grandchildren, Jeff finds profound joy in guiding and nurturing the next generation. Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. Proverbs 17, 6. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.